Well, good uh, <coughs> Thursday evening. There's a lot to um, go into tonight. A lot is happening right before very eyes. Things that are accelerating, possibly setting up for the return of Jesus Christ soon. You know, dangerous times are here upon us, and it ain't a time to get slit, slack and indifferent. It ain't a time to grow cold and lukewarm on Jesus. It's time to get on fire. But I want to start in 2 Timothy chapter 3, in verse 1. This know that in the last days... Perilous times shall come. Difficult, dangerous times that we're living in. Now, I want to go on to a website, End Time Headlines. Ricky Scapero on his website are bring, has got some articles up that are very interesting with the things that are currently it's going on. The DEFCON warning system alert for wars has been raised to a code yellow. That's a number three. Because of heightened tensions. Another article appears as the U.S. officially enters the Yemen military campaign. If you was unaware, we've had some naval ships to literally be um, um, fired upon. And last night, or this day one, the U.S. shot three radar systems down. And now the Iranians are bringing in their... Um, their uh um battleships in there but the UK appears ready and willing to participate a catalog event the royal air force they were were talking about was ordered to shoot down hostile russian jets over syria russia moves additional missile defense batteries to syria and issued a thinly veiled threat that it would shoot down any us or coalition Aircraft that tried to bomb Syria, um, the regime targets without warning. Let's go on. Let me but let me just hit right here. Israel could be facing. They are talking about Israel may fa- face a unique window of danger from November the ninth to January the twentieth, if Obama is coming out of office. Like I'm said, I'm not convinced he's coming any coming out of the U.S. office yet. But listen, on Friday, here's a major thing to be looking at. Here, here's an article I'm reading that on Friday, Barack Obama is going to sit down with his foreign policy team and discuss military options in Syria. So you see how this thing is really beginning to heat up. Not only that, we, we see Matthew, we see hurricanes, flooding, disasters, and also last night, or the night, night one, there was a bright green fireball that was so big it disintegrated across the sky from Texas to Kentucky. Russia completes the delivery of S-300 air defense systems to Iran. Let's go on. On down, let's just scroll on down. Russian media outlets have been punctuated with reports asking people whether they are ready for a nuclear war. Oh, here's one going on. The United Nations body has passed a resolution put forth by the Palestinians denying all connections between the Jews and Jerusalem and the Temple Mount. Well, I got news for them Muslims over there, and I got news for the United Nations you have no right to tell you what belongs to Israel. That is God give them that land. I don't care what you decree, United Nations. You are not going to stop the nation of Israel. I don't care what the Muslims think. They're not going to stop the United Nation. Russia has developed and successfully tested radio electronic weapons. Unmatched like anywhere in the world. Imps. Iran deplores warships off Yemen coast. Listen. Hillary may issue executive order on guns if elected president. The rise of Jezebel right there. Let's go on down. How about yesterday? They said, um, 
um, that Putin made the comment, a vote for Hillary was a vote for nuclear war. Flooding from Hurricane Matthew, we know that's going on in North Carolina. Here's something I don't want to put, say it is, but here's an interesting article that it says Obama was plotting to allow 9,000 ISIS fighters escape terror capital Mosul to attack Russian troops. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't rule it past him because we know where he stands. If he will bring them in over here to come against his own, come against this nation here, he won't think twice about doing it over there either. So if he'll close Gitmo and bring them in with refugees that have a sword behind their hand, you know, so he won't think twice about letting them go over there too to fight against the Russians. So we begin to see, it seems like the Russian bear has come out of its its hibernation and it's beginning to uh, awaken. Obama considers proportional response to hack, Russian hacking in U.S. election. So Russia tells their diplomats and the government officials, if you got children... <laughs> overseas bring them home right now folks it's getting interesting you know there's something there's more meets the eye what we know really what's going on but we know prophecy is really beginning to accelerate and we better be getting prepared for the things that are at hand if you're not ready to meet the lord if you're slack and indifferent it's time to get ready to meet the Lord because right now I'm telling you, tensions are brewing. One little spark can stop anything over in the Middle East at this time. With Russia, Syria, the United States, Iran, it don't take much and anything can just set it off and, you know, an all-out war could be breaking on. But I'm telling you, we should hear these things right before the coming of the Lord. What we're seeing right now, and I'm going to hit it tomorrow night in revival, you know, People ain't paying attention to what's happening in the in the foundations there for the return, for the catching away of the saints to happen at any moment. People are getting slack and indifferent. They don't have the hunger for God. They'd rather be out doing everything else but the things of the Lord. Folks, it's time to wake from that spiritual apathy. It's time to wake from that spiritual deadness and come into life. And realize where we are at in these prophetic times. Folks, Jesus is coming. You're seeing earthquakes. You're seeing wars and rumors of wars. You're seeing pestilence diseases. We're living in the days of Sodom all over again. The days of Lot, the days of Noah are happening before our very eyes. And people do not even realize it. Folks, this thing's coming to a screeching halt. And yet more people are more concerned about... Just a pleasing, get, finding the best deal, appealing to their stomach, appealing to their flesh, than getting things right to meet the Lord. Because I'm telling you right now, we are facing a political crisis. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and hit this right here. Do you know it's possible that we can elect a woman with a spirit of Jezebel upon her? We can elect somebody to office that has been known to have people come against her, to have mysterious death. Somebody that allowed Benghazi ambassadors to die and perish. Somebody that says they take up for the right of children. They've been fighting for the right of children, but at the same time, I got something to go here in just a minute. Uh, so sponsor abortion, impartial birth abortion. If you heard her speech that she wanted judges on there, it would go on to promote sodomy, homosexuality, and also to go on to promote abortions and come against your gun rights. 
Folks, let me tell you, it also came out that she made some pretty harsh remarks against believers, against the Catholics, which, you know, we know the Catholics are, their doctrine's wrong, but yet they do stand for pro-life. And they come against evangelicals because we stand up for the truth. Folks, I don't care if Hillary Clinton likes me or not. I don't. In fact, I kind of hope I'm on her number one list of not liking. I'll be more than happy to be one of her deplorables, by the way. So, because I'm really not looking for man's approval. I need the approval of the seal of, the ho- of God himself is the only approval we need to worry about. So, we're seeing where we're in a political crisis. We're seeing where we're in a moral crisis. What once was considered evil is now considered good. Instead of cover girl, they got a cover boy now. It's a spirit of perversion. The spirit of Sodom has settled into this land. Not only we're seeing these things, we're seeing the wickedness, the vileness, the killing of innocent babies with the abortion clinics on the, being accepted The gay marriage being accepted by many today. And it tells us we're in those dangerous times, those perilous times. We've got, you know, even in the religious crisis, the truth is no longer accepted. There's only one truth, and that is the truth of of the cross of Jesus Christ. Folks, we want to bring these Muslims in. We want to tell them, oh, they're the, that we respect them. I do not respect them. Simply, they are following after Satan himself. Any other religion is inspired by Satan other than G- the Christianity. Hear me again. First of all, Christianity ain't a religion. It is a relationship. Second of all, if you're worshiping any other than Christ, folks, it's of the devil. We got this crisis in. The rise of witchcraft. Silly things like clowns. People dressing like clowns to go around skier. People are falling away from the truth. They're falling away from this word. It's time to wake up and realize that he is at hand. It's time to realize that Jesus Christ is coming again. It's time to get prepared because the bridegroom cometh ready or not. Yeah, he's coming. We don't know when, but he's coming. They're trying to come against Israel. They're trying to come against the standards of the word of God. Folks, and you want to know, and we're in wars and rumors of wars on the verge of World War III, nuclear war. Disasters happening. Moral crisis. The only answer is Jesus Christ. We better get ready. Because this book, this Bible, is this word that he spoke years ago is being played out before our very eyes right now. It's being fulfilled right now and the time is short. People are more worried about don't let's just get it down to the truth. Let's get to the bottom of it. People don't believe he could come. Folks, if people believed he could come, the house of God would be full every time it was open. If people believed he was going to show up in the next little bit let me tell you, I wouldn't have to beg them to come in for revival. I wouldn't have to beg them to be there on Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday nights. Bible studies. No, 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 no. They go about everyday business as it was in the days of Noah. They were eating and drinking and giving in marriage until the day the flood come. And it took them by surprise. What happened? They got caught up in everyday living and didn't think it was going to come. Folks, it come. And let me tell you, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, and if you're in the area, come tomorrow night, because I'm going to be preaching on the coming of the Lord, ready or not. Folks, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, there's a trump going to sound. 
The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then those which are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. I'm telling you, there's the Lord's coming for His bride. And I'm telling you, there's a time of trouble coming on this earth like you ain't ever seen before. It's called the tribulation period. This world ain't seen a storm until it sees a storm like it's getting ready to take place. It ain't seen times of turmoil until the wrath of God gets unleashed. Folks, it's time to wake up and realize Jesus is coming. Prophecies is being fulfilled before our very eyes. And many are just slumbering and sleeping. But let me tell you, ready or not, the Lord is surely Come and be paying attention, be looking on the news, because in just a split second, anything could really happen. I, I encourage you, I really encourage you, if you're not where you need to be with the Lord tonight, to really get where we you need to be, because the folks, I'm telling you, this is a serious, this is a serious situation that is developing. Folks, I don't know what's going to happen with it. I really don't. But I know tensions are brewing. Anything It could set the stage for, for anything going on. But I'm telling you, it could set the stage where Obama would call martial law. Yeah, war. Or he can even call, he could even, there's a couple scenarios where he de- could declare martial law. He could say the election's rigged. He could say he, Hillary had an unfair. Anything can happen, you know. To set the stage for martial law for him to come in. I'm not saying it is, but I'm saying it's a strong possibility it could happen with this crisis that's going on. Folks, it's time to wake up. It's time to realize that Jesus is coming. We're in a political, moral, religious crisis of this day. Folks, and I'm telling you, I want to really encourage you to be on your knees, to be in the Word of God, and be in the house of God as much as you can. Listen to the Word of God. Get a hold of it. Be prepared. Jesus is coming. Folks, these things that I read the articles of are just the fulfillment of what he said we would see. And I know some would say, well, these things has been going on. But here's the thing. These things are simultaneously happen here together. The birth pangs are happening. So we need to be waking need to be ready to know that Jesus is surely coming. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father, for this opportunity. Father, I ask you, God, to awaken us, to awaken that one that may hear this message to where we're at, to awaken the believer how close we are to this thing wrapping up. Tonight, I pray, Lord, for your spirit, your anointing, dear God, and your touch. Father, I pray, God, that we get on fire and realize where we're at. In that name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Once again, I want to tell you this is a serious situation, and it's time to awaken. Good night. God bless. I want to invite you Friday and Saturday night to revival here at Houston Town Church of God. I'll be preaching tomorrow night on Ready or Not, the Lord is Coming. Saturday night. Brother Harold Peck will be preaching Sunday morning, Sunday night. You need to be in the house of God. Be waiting on him. So y'all have a good night. Be looking. Sunday morning, 930, Sunday night, 6 o'clock. God bless.